Hello, welcome to another vlog. Um, today is actually Mother's Day, and unfortunately since my mom is in Phoenix, it's just going to be me and Milo today, and we are going to go to a nature park that's up here in Dallas and just walk around. It's a beautiful day today, so be good to get some sun and just be out and get some fresh air. What do you say, Milo? What do you say? Yeah? Just got done. <laughs> Little man's tired. <laughs> he did so good though. Yeah, you did. You did so good. Well, we just got done with our walk and wow, there was a lot of people, but I want to say that I think everyone did a really good job of pretty much keeping their distance. The car's going by. <laughs> I think everyone did a really good job of keeping their distance. There's people wearing face masks. It's like everyone that was in their household like stayed together and just kind of kept the space and all of that. And also too, people were not still afraid, well, rephrase, people weren't afraid to even talk to you though and socialize, but they kept their distance. But they still were willing to socialize, like a lot of like people wanted to pet Milo which I think is still great like yes they were keeping their distance but they were still socializing in a sense you know socializing in a safe manner and I still think that's good I mean because at the end of the day like someone like myself who lives alone and has not been socializing someone who lives by themselves and hasn't been interacting with anybody it was actually kind of nice but still keeping a safe distance people were still wearing masks and i you know i think i want to applaud that and even though here in texas things are definitely opening back up and all of that but you know still people are still being cautious there don't get me wrong there were still some idiots but i think sad to say like that might happen regardless just because people believe maybe it's not that serious or whatever I'm not gonna speak for them because I don't know I just have my own beliefs and you know I think this is a serious virus and that's why I've been keeping my distance and but at the same time with someone who has um, like issues with anxiety and depression I think you know this time has been hard especially if you live alone and gratefully with technology such as you know texting facetime and the apps that have been created like house party and people doing zoom calls it does help but at the same time it's not the same as really interacting with people person to person like in you know face to face um so i wanted to touch on that and i think honestly it's hopefully getting better you know it's good to see like people out it's like it's like almost a hope granted i'm not probably not gonna be going to sit in a restaurant anytime soon i'm not hitting up the bar i'm not doing any of that you know i'm still gonna you know slowly get back into that just as the same way as everyone's slowly getting back into it even my doctor said like don't don't go do anything crazy which i mean i don't think i am and um all that he goes, yes, they're opening up, but you know, don't, you know, be smart about it. So I think that's a good thing that everyone can do. But I want to touch on that. And now that we are both hot and most likely hungry, I'm going to go get food. 
Hey there, how's it going? It's my second day back at work. Well, going back to the office, it's definitely interesting, you know, we're having to wear face masks and stuff like that. But overall, it's been good because I'm not having as many computer issues, which has definitely made it very, very hard to work remotely. Um, but overall, I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, put a little bit of makeup on even though <laughs> I have to wear a mask so it's like it gets rubbed off anyways. But yeah, that's how today's going. I'm on my lunch break. I already let Milo out to walk. It's a nice thing about living really close to where I work. Um, but yeah, that's what's going on with me. It's been a busy day. Somewhat productive day. <laughs> um, yeah. So... Let me know down in the comments, are you back in the office? Are you still at home? I know my parents are both working remotely like from the house, like indefinitely. And they live in Arizona, but uh, the company they work for, it's a pretty big company. So it's like, they don't feel a need to have to go back. Um, but yeah, let me know down below. Are you back at the office? Like, and is your area opening up like it is out here? Um, and let me know like how that is going right now for me it's nice to get out in in terms of like being with other people since i live alone um so that part is nice but we're still you know we still have to take our temperature we have to wear face masks and like we can't really be in each other's cubicles and things like that so that's that's been interesting to figure out but yeah and i hope your day is going pretty good like mine is Okay, it's the next day. Um, it's halfway through the week, thankfully. <laughs> um, oh, you can probably see the giant filing cabinet in the background. Yeah, I'm hoping to tackle that this weekend because clearly that's not a good spot for that. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so halfway through the week, I'm being back at the office. So yeah, so it's good to get back to normal. And then on top of it, um, sorry, something's like in my eye. On top of it, found out that the place that I go play um, soccer at is actually going to be opening back up in June. And they're working on scheduling games and stuff. So I'm nervous and excited about that. Uh, they actually are going to be implementing certain procedures like similar to my office where they take your temperature when you enter the facility, which I think is great. They're being smart, but at the same time, it's like trying to get stuff back to normal not only for economic reasons i think but also i think the governor is trying to test waters i'm no expert on this do your research form your own opinion i'm no expert on this but i'm excited that that process is starting i mean it's definitely gives more light at the end of the tunnel kind of a feeling so yeah well this evening little man I need a bath. Continuing the uh, flea saga. It's gonna be a continuing day thing until like kill them all. I'm trying. Um, definitely hard with when you have carpet in the apartment. I'm pretty sure some uh, pet owners can understand that. But yeah, I'm gonna do that and maybe do a little bit of workout. But we'll see. Look at you, squeaky clean. Yeah. Got a couple more fleas off of him. Hopefully this saga ends soon. Huh, buddy? Oh, what'd you hear? Huh. It's okay. You're just so cute. <laughs> hey there. How's it going? <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I worked, had to work late today, so that was fun. And a little friend right here decided to show up. So that's cool, but I honestly... <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? I am going to order some Uber Eats, which I technically already did. I'm going to put on a face mask. I am going to pour myself a glass of wine and just have a relaxing evening 
I'm gonna go to bed early and I'm gonna wake up. I'm gonna wake up early and get stuff done and just go about my day and just know that I made it through this rough week. And I know a lot of people, I you know, honestly, I am very lucky one that I still have my job and I'm actually at the point where some sort of normalcy where I'm going back into the office. I'm not really, I'm being a little bit more productive. I mean, I'm actually having to get up and go somewhere. I am very grateful for that. It's just, you know, it, it's, it's just been a stressful week in terms of work. Everything else, I think it's been pretty good, you know, um, so on a, like, I really, technically I really don't have much to complain about, but I know it could be worse and I'm trying to stay you know, humble and grateful, and I am, and I'm actually almost finishing the book, You Are a Badass, and I, honestly, that book has given me so much more to think about, and also definitely makes me a little more conscious. Sorry, I'm looking off, I just, ugh. Anyways, <laughs> it's definitely making me more conscious about the way I think, and the way I act, and trying to calm my nerves and anxiety because I'm pretty sure a lot of people can relate that throughout this time like if you have mental health issues like I hear you I understand and on top of it if you're living alone and all of that like it just it's a lot to take in and so honestly that book has helped me um kind of change my perspective and it's helped a little bit um the other thing I've been doing is definitely being adamant about taking my CBD, which I can put here. It's from American Shaman. Don't mind that closet. <laughs> yeah, it's from American Shaman. Um, there's no THC in it. I just, that's a project for another day. Um, <laughs> I just, um, I've found that that has helped definitely with my anxiety and also probably with a lot of people, people can relate as insomnia. So, but anyways, back to being positive is that, yeah, that book has definitely helped, um, calm my nerves in a lot of ways and try to be able to tackle, um, things in a better mindset. I hope this isn't really shaky but be able to tackle things in a better mindset and you know so um, I'll link that book down below I honestly think it's a good idea especially during this time to for something like that to read because it's yeah like it's definitely it's definitely makes you think about things. and also if you have time to read why not hi there happy Saturday sorry if you hear the dishwasher in the background I've been pretty busy this morning uh, I've had my first cup of coffee in like a week, which, <laughs> yeah. Um, and I've been just cleaning the kitchen. I was trying to do laundry, but the laundry card thing was broken, so. But I am just been busy cleaning the kitchen and just kind of working on organizing around here um, and uh, going through some of my kitchen stuff and, you know, putting one in a donate. I'm making the tuna recipe that my mom used to make us all the time and I'm going to make like a big batch and that way like when I come home to let Milo out during lunch I can just easily make a sandwich and then you know have it be quick and it's actually fairly healthy and also too I've done this um, recipe with canned chicken and it's actually really good as well so I'm going to go ahead and make that for lunch. Here are all the ingredients I'll be using for the tuna sandwich recipe. What you're gonna do is you're gonna boil two eggs and then I'll show you the rest. So while those are boiling, you're gonna take the two cans of tuna. These are ones I've ordered from Thrive Market. This is not sponsored, but I actually really enjoy ordering from there. What you're gonna do is you're gonna drain the water and then you are going to put them in the bowl and kind of break them up a little bit. Just so you know, this recipe doesn't call for exact measurements, which makes it really easy. So the next thing I added is some mayonnaise, or you can add a mayonnaise substitute. I actually put quite a bit in here. The next ingredient I added was some celery salt, a couple shakes. And the next thing I added was some pepper. 
After that is added, then I add a squeeze of mustard. After mixing everything, what I'm going to do is going to take half an onion, and it can be any kind of onion, it can be red, white, whichever you prefer, and I will chop up in little chunks. As you can see, I'm not a master chef, but I'm, the more I cook, the better I'm getting at it. <laughs> and to be honest, this is a really flexible recipe, I feel like. You can add more stuff, you can remove stuff, you can substitute things. I don't make it the same every single time. Sometimes it just depends on what I have. So use what you have, or you can kind of adjust it to your personal tastes. After adding the onion, the next thing I'm going to do is take some pickles. Now I have like sliced pickles, but pretty much you just need two pickles and what you're going to do is dice them up like we did the onion. By the time this is all mixed in and everything is chopped up, the boiled eggs should be done. So I will peel them and usually you can use an egg slicer, but I currently don't have one that is on the to, -to, to purchase since I do make this recipe a lot. But what you'll do is you'll take the boiled eggs and you will also dice them into little chunks. After that is all mixed in together, I like to do a taste test with like a chip um, and sometimes I like to add more mayonnaise and pepper, just depends on how dry it is or just the taste. And of course the last step is to get your bread of choice and I add a little bit of mayonnaise and you can just pile on as much as you'd like. And here is the final sandwich. Okay, now that uh, I finished that, I'm going to finish putting uh, the dishwasher stuff away, clean up the kitchen a little bit, and then I'm going to start tackling the mess that's actually behind the camera so I can move the filing cabinet. Yeah, who knows if I'll be able to get to that today. But at least I would like at least move some stuff so make room for that thing in there because I really want to get my paddle board in here. It's currently being stored somewhere else. And the weather warming up. I know this weekend the weather is not that great. Or at least it's not supposed to be. It's supposed to be like windy and stormy. And if you've been on a paddle board <laughs> and it's been windy, you know that it is definitely a workout and not as much fun <laughs> especially if you're trying to get back in so that's what I'm gonna be doing if I could have one vlog where my hair is not a mess that would be great but honestly the lighting in here is not that bad so I'm going to now tackle this mess. So this is the mess I'm going to tackle next. Um, I'm thinking I want to put the filing cabinet like here and a lot of the stuff that's like in these boxes right there 
and then a lot of the stuff that's like down here is going to actually be end up going in the filing cabinet and i think if, if i'm able to do it i think it'd be cool if i can like somehow well it is not somehow like have everything be like the same height and i can maybe do like a side table or something um that would that would be nice um, but uh, yeah, I'm hoping like a lot of these like boxes and stuff that's over here could actually go into the filing cabinet. And my goal obviously as well is to cut through this fabric and stuff like that. Because honestly, a lot of it is fabric and different craft supplies and projects and stuff like that. sliders back there because I'm not sure I'm gonna keep that there. Oh man, that was hard. But it's moved. Now to put all the boxes back.
just to give you an idea of what I'm thinking, I'm wanting to put maybe the patterns in these drawers so that way I can maybe use, utilize those boxes for something else or maybe get rid of them. But I put, end up putting stuff that is like complete down there and um, yeah, I'm not like really 100% sure what I'm gonna do. But I think what I'm just gonna do right now is put the patterns just in the drawers so I can kind of clean up this mess <laughs> that is all these boxes and hopefully somehow eliminate them and go from there. Yeah, I'm kind of winging it at this point, but I'm actually really glad that it's in there and I like that obviously it's a mess, but it's like obviously there's more light that can come in. So yeah. But I'm really excited in the fact that like I can stack some stuff up there. Um, I was really hoping I could get those drawers in there, but maybe I can find something else. But I really think like my thread going in there is like the perfect space. And I just love that I can close everything and it's just not a cluttered mess as it has been. It's kind of hard to create as I think a lot of people um, know and have experienced excuse me, that, you know, it's hard to be creative when it's a clutter mess. Some people it works for, some people it doesn't. So I am going to attempt to do that.
place. So here's where we're at. Um, yeah, I'm having, I'm kind of taking inspiration from like craft stores and having like them up like this so I can go through. Obviously they're not really organized right now. I definitely want to organize them, but that's like one drawer. And then actually, and then I'm thinking of like new projects and stuff like that going there. And then here is the top drawer. So they actually, you can actually fit a lot in here. I was able to empty about um, most of the box, uh, both, all of the boxes, but I know I have more patterns elsewhere. Okay, so this is where we're at today. As you can see, we're not completely there, but like those uh, white boxes are actually empty and there's less this box is on the floor. I just have to move the mannequin and I'll be able to open it and then just gotta do some reorganizing of those, but we're coming along. I'm actually really happy with how everything turned out and I'm actually now gonna go get ready to go celebrate someone's birthday, which is odd for me to say because the only thing I had to get ready for in the past like two months has been, wow that's cheeky has been work <laughs> but um uh, here in dallas like the social distancing stuff has definitely died down and um we're able like the bars opened up last night i didn't go but um we're just we're gonna be outside and yeah so that's gonna be nice and finally the sun has come out and sorry i keep looking over there the sun has finally come out, which is great, so I'm gonna go get ready for that.